you ever asked yourself why a steak tastes so good? Well, you know now the Maillard reaction is the answer. Before to explain the whole process, you will have to understand this first. Taste is a surprisingly complex process. In 1912, French medical researcher Louis Camille Maillard made a discovery that would leave a lasting impact on cooking science. He analyzed how the building blocks of proteins, amino acids, and sugars react together and uncovered a complex family of reactions that begin to take place when protein-containing foods, such as meats, nuts, cereals, and many vegetables, reach around 140 degrees Celsius, 284 degrees Fahrenheit. We now call these molecular changes the Maillard reaction, and they help us to make sense of the many ways in which food browns and takes on flavor as it cooks. Seared steak, crispy fish skin, the aromatic crust on bread, and even the aroma of toasted nuts and spices are all thanks to this reaction. The interplay of the two components creates enticing aromas unique to each food. Understanding the Maillard reaction helps the cook in many ways. Adding fructose-rich honey to a marinade fuels the reaction. Pouring cream into simmering sugar provides milk proteins and sugars for butterscotch and caramel flavors and brushing pastry with egg provides extra protein for the crust to brown. The Maillard reaction is created by these two components. Amino acids, or the building blocks of proteins, clash with nearby sugar molecules, even meats contain traces of sugar, to fuse into new substances. Fused molecules find themselves apart and crash into others to combine, separate and reform in countless ways. Hundreds of new substances are born, some brown in color and many carrying aromas. As the temperature climbs, more changes occur. The exact flavors and aromas generated by browning depend on a food's unique combination of protein types and sugars. The start of cooking is when the temperature reach about 140 degrees Celsius, 284 degrees Fahrenheit, before sugar molecules and amino acids have enough energy to react together. While the outer layers of the food are damp, food will not warm above the boiling point of water, 100 degrees Celsius. So surface moisture must be driven off by dry heat for this to happen. The exact flavors and aromas generated by browning depend on a food's unique combination of protein types and sugars. Maillard reactions intensify as the temperature rises. As food reaches 150 degrees Celsius, 302 degrees Fahrenheit, it generates new flavor molecules twice as quickly as it did at 140 degrees Celsius, 284 degrees Fahrenheit, adding more complex flavors and aromas. At 160 degrees Celsius, 320 degrees Fahrenheit, as the temperature increases, molecular changes continue and more enticing new flavors and aromas are created. The flavor enhancement peaks at this point, there are now cascades of malty, nutty, meaty, and caramel-like flavors. When food reaches 180 degrees Celsius, 356 degrees Fahrenheit, another reaction called pyrolysis, or burning, begins and food starts to char, destroying aromas and leaving acrid, bitter flavors. Carbohydrates, proteins, and then fats break down, producing some potentially harmful substances. Watch the food closely, and remove from the heat before food begins to blacken. Here are some tips to help you achieve the perfect Maillard reaction for your dishes. One, high heat. Use a cast iron skillet or grill. These surfaces can handle high temperatures and provide even heat distribution. Preheat the pan or grill. Ensure the surface is hot before adding your food. Two, dry ingredients. Pat food, dry. Excess moisture can hinder the Maillard reaction. Make sure your food is dry before cooking. Avoid overcrowding the pan. Ensure there's enough space between food items to allow for proper browning. 3. High temperature. Aim for 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius, or higher. This temperature range is ideal for triggering the Maillard reaction. Avoid overcooking. Once the food has reached your desired level of browning, remove it from the heat to prevent burning. 4. Protein-rich foods. Choose foods with protein. Meats, poultry, fish, eggs, and even vegetables like tofu are good candidates for the Maillard reaction. Consider sugars. 
Adding a small amount of sugar can enhance the browning and flavor. 5. Experiment. Try different cooking methods. Experiment with grilling, searing, pan frying and roasting to find the best technique for your desired outcome. Play with ingredients. Explore different cuts of meat, types of vegetables and seasonings to discover new flavor combinations. The Maillard reaction is a delicate balance of heat, time and ingredients. By following these tips and experimenting, you can master the art of creating delicious and flavorful dishes.